talented young dancers of the Nevada Rhythmic Academy will go down as the first act to perform on the site of the MSG Sphere at the Venetian. The Madison Square Garden Company of New York is partnering with the Las Vegas Sands on this iconic project. It's located just east of the Venetian with an 1,100-foot-long pedestrian bridge connecting the new venue with the hotel resort. Two, one! Sands Chairman Sheldon Adelson joined a couple county commissioners, Governor Sandoval, and MSG executives in breaking ground on the MSG sphere. We couldn't be happier or more excited about what this will do to Las Vegas and entertainment in this city. It will truly change things and take it to a level I think people don't quite understand. The portrayal you see behind me is accurate. It's that good, it's that big, it's that seductive, and I think it's gonna be a major success in the city. 360 feet tall, with scalable seating up to 18,000, the MSG sphere will truly be a spectator's delight. The world's largest LED screen will wrap around the entire sphere, ensuring every seat faces the stage. This facility will be used exclusively for concerts and performances, not sporting events. Thousands of jobs will be generated. And it's going to create an estimated 3,500 jobs during the construction and then 4,400 jobs, permanent jobs, thereafter for an annual economic output of $730 million to our economy. Nearly impossible to properly describe the sphere, James Dolan compared it to one of the most famous landmarks in the world. Do you suppose that when they broke ground for the Eiffel Tower, that people knew what it was going to be? The, um, I'm pretty sure they didn't. The, uh, I think it's, this is going to be like that.